Hey friends, this is Natalie from Power Moon Tarot. Welcome to your reading. Today's reading is called, let me just get settled. <laughs> it's always a fun time getting settled. So what you need to know is the name of today's reading. What do you need to know? And we're gonna look at what you need to know in general about your love life um, and what spirit, spirit wants to share with you regarding your love and romance at this time. And then also, what do you need to know about the current connection that you're in, okay? So we have three different piles to choose from and I will have an extended reading for the video as well too. So you can look in the description box below which will take you to my Vimeo channel and you can find your particular pile to watch the extended reading, okay? Uh, but we have three piles to choose from today. We have pile number one, which is the amethyst, pile number two, which is the black obsidian, and pile number three, which is the fairy stone, okay? So do zero in on your piles here and choose your pile. There's a stack of oracle cards for each pile as well. And before I get into pile number one, I wanted to share this book that my friend gave me to borrow. It's called Inward. And it's just a very like, you know, simple book of, um, it's easy to get through, but there's a lot of really great um, sayings and different wisdom in it that I really like. So I'm just gonna turn to a random page in the book and read something for you guys before we start our reading, okay? So just randomly gonna open something that we all need to hear, that the collective needs to hear right now. Okay, it says, a real sign of progress is when we no longer punish ourselves for our imperfections, and then let's make space for, he for deep healing in our world, okay? So a real sign of progress is when we no longer punish ourselves for our imperfections, guys. So especially for those of you who are perfectionists, a lot of Virgo energy can be that way, um, very perfectionist very rigid sometimes. So for all you Virgos out there, wishing you a lot of healing. And then the other one we have, let's make space for deep healing in our world. And that to me reminds me of Pisces energy where we want to heal the collective and um, as a collective work through our deep wounding so that we can be better in this world, okay? So thank you so much for listening to my little opening. And with that, let's go ahead and get into the readings. I have Pile number three, which I'm gonna put over to this side here. Today I'm in one of those moods where it's a, let's take our time. Oops, there's my dog. <laughs> let's take our time kind of a day. No need to hurry, right? So with that being said, guys, pile number one, welcome to your reading. So if you're here for pile number one, you chose the amethyst stone, okay? So you guys have the amethyst here. And we are going to be looking at what you need to know just in general about your love life and also with regard to your connection, okay? So we're going to be looking at what spirit wants to tell you with regard to your love life and then what's just generally or what's going on with your current connection, okay? And um, in the extended reading, which you can find the link below in the description box, we'll be getting a message from your person. Um, of what they do and don't like about the connection and their deepest feelings, okay? So we will have extended readings this time around and let's begin to tell my dog, sorry you guys, for those of you that have dogs, shh, 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 shh. <laughs> sorry about that guys, quiet. Oh, there's people outside. <laughs> We shall per persist, pile number one, won't we? We will persist. Okay, so for pile number one, let's go ahead and get into it for pile number one. So your spirits and your spirit, spirit and guides want to tell you meditation is important right now. Take a moment and connect to source through quiet, reflective meditation and to have gratitude for the universal love that's around you at all times, okay? Even if your own love life feels like crap at times, and I know we all have that, like things aren't going right, um, still try to have gratitude for the universal energy of love around you. And we have twin flames. Yeah, that could having that gratitude and meditation could bring you into contact with your twin flame. I always give my PSA about twin flames. 
twin flames are not the relationships that hurt us and drive us into deep despair and depression and are full of abuse, etc. Twin flames are the relationships, you can call them whatever you want, but twin flames are the relationships where we are free to become our best selves, okay? So, and part of that journey is gratitude, all right? And then we have the runner. A runner is a code is in a codependent relationship. Fear of intimacy, listening to the ego. So somebody here has um, a runner tendencies, um, and this is spirit's message here about your love life. So you could be a runner. And when people think of codependency, they always think of you know people pleasing and relying on everyone else for your own value, for a sense of your own value and worth. But, you know, codependency can also be running from intimacy as well and wanting to do everything yourself and not allowing others to do anything for you. Okay, and if that, if that, um, or just keeping this very cold and stoic kind of demeanor towards love, and if that resonates for you, pile number one, then your guides and angels are coming through to talk about, you know, union with your soulmate in the future and um, helping you to heal from some of these fears of intimacy. We have boat, receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, and closure, okay? So you guys are closing out, hopefully some period having to do with, um, if you were, if you did have codependent tendencies in the past or you had avoidant attachment issues, spirit is trying to help move you on from that. And I do think meditation and Healing the heart chakra is gonna be part of that for you here. We have intuitive nudges. So intuition is the language of the soul. We are all born aware with profound sense of inner knowing. Intuition is one of the greatest gifts we can possess, which keeps us connected to the, our higher selves, the universe, and to our divine spirit. So definitely there is, um, spirit is wanting you to connect more with the etheric realms and connect more with um, and prayer, be in prayer, be in meditation, be in gratitude. And do you see the eye here? This crown chakra, third eye, particularly the third eye here. There's a recognition here for you, pile number one, of your intuitive abilities and also um, how meditation and and closing out some of these old issues from the past are going to help next level you for your love life in general. Okay. Soul solitude. Your soul needs attention. There are moments when the, it's important to get away, not just from the noise of the outside world, but to find a place where your soul can experience peace and quiet, a place for soul solitude. This is a time to pause and a time to reflect, a time for you. So some of you are getting intuitive nudges when you are in meditation, when you are being quiet, when you're chilling, when you're relaxing, when you're in gratitude, you're getting these Oh, I hate it when they put these ads on my meditation videos. Huh. That's not fun. Let's shut that off. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, this intuitive nudges and soul sol solitude meditation. We had so many interruptions during your reading pile number one so far already. I feel like you guys are getting interrupted a lot. There's a lot going on around you and some of you just need to decompress from all of that, okay? Heal, this is the star card, number 17. Yeah, some of you are definitely, spirit has a general message here for you about getting the um, alone time that you need so that you can really listen to spirit and you can heal from the past. Crown chakra, what did I mention? Crown and third eye. Yeah, so spirit is trying to really work with you, pile number one. Like, I'm serious here. They are, this is not just some fluffy go meditate and sit in gratitude bullshit. Spirit is really, really trying to step in here and help you heal from some of these issues in the past where it might have felt like your dreams were just passing you by and um, that you just kept moving on and moving on and you never really got to what you wanted, right? And I feel like some of this is, is getting cleaned up for you right now. We have giving and receiving. Okay, so this is a six of wands energy. So, uh, but it's also just a six. So it's about fire, harmony, balance um, in this situation. And you can see all these hands with gifts reaching out to you. I feel like a spirit giving gifts of light to you. And if you look at it, this could be the heart, 
the solar plexus, the throat, and the third eye, okay? And here, Spirit is telling you when you heal your heart, your third eye is also upgraded as well. When your heart is in balance, you are the most um, intuitive, okay? When your heart is, in pe is peaceful and you're not in a state of fight or flight and running from things, you are the most peaceful, you speak the most truth, and you're driven by um, you know, what rings true for you with the solar plexus, you're able to move forward on your path. Okay. So giving and receiving in relationships, spirit is calling attention to this for you. If it was unbalanced in the past, spirit's like, no more, it's not going to be okay. And then we have the engineer Mars. So we have every problem has a solution, right? So if you were having issues in, in the past with people running from you or you running from others, we're seeing every problem has a solution. With the engineer here, it's all about breaking down the things that um, were not working in the past so that we can find the solutions, right? It says curious, productive, technical, hardworking, focused, creative, competent, practical, competitive, decisive, determined, analytical, adventurous, loyal, and generous. And maybe some of you are going to be meeting an engineering type. You're going to be meeting someone who um, is this description here, and that's coming for you in your future. You're going to meet like a scientist -y engineer type of person, um, somebody with a very clear mind. Every problem has a solution, right? So that's coming through regarding your love life. And then we have gilded regret, okay? So I do think some of you are, you know, a bit melancholy and focusing on the past and the things that didn't come off correctly in the past, okay? And I do think the past was a challenge for you, pile number one, with regard to your love life. I do think you were greatly challenged by your love life and um, you're wearing a crown of thorns here. So yeah, you could felt like, you know, you had to make a lot of sacrifices and you feel regretful about some of the sacrifices that you had to make in the past um, that didn't come off as you wanted them to. And some of you feel like it's better to just, you know, be alone, right? And, and just listen to your heart and heal from things and upgrade your crown chakra rather than getting into some, you know, another relationship or getting into another um, ordeal here, or maybe your person is feeling like that, but there is this aspect of the runner here that showed up next to the twin flame. So I don't like to, you know, go over the twin flame runner chaser dynamic that much, but sometimes spirit is trying to bring us a, a really amazing match, okay? Bring us a really, really, the yin and yang here, bring us a balance, giving and receiving, give us something, right? Spirit has a gift that would like to give you regarding your love life, but you run from it and you hide from it. <laughs> so there's a need to receive, right? And one way that we can receive and heal is through meditation. That is one of the ways that we can reach spirit and talk to spirit, okay? So that's what you need to know with regard to from spirit regarding your love life. Now let's look at your current connection and what you need to know from spirit regarding your current connection, okay? So what do my pile number, you guys had a very spiritual, what do you need to know about your love life? So there is something happening there's something happening in the spiritual realms. <laughs> Dare I say you're being match made in the spiritual realms, okay? There's a show on TV or a show on Netflix called Indian Matchmaking, which I watched, of course, like from start to finish. Um, I'm like, oh boy, I probably was an Indian matchmaker in a past life because <laughs> um, I also study Vedic astrology. Anyway, this isn't about me, but what I'm saying is, is that you know, there's matchmaking on the 3D and then there's matchmaking in the heavens, right? And Spirit's trying to pull something off for you here with um, with the Twin Flame card. Like that is Spirit's message to you. Spirit's trying to bring you that, that great, amazing match for your life, okay? So let's look at what's, what Spirit has to say regarding your current connection, pile number one. What does Spirit have to say regarding your current connection? Eight of Pentacles, okay. Let's get some more on the on the board here and see what Spirit has to say regarding your current connection. We have the Hierophant. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra, Venus energy. The World, okay. 
the star, you guys had the star twice. You had it in your message from spirit, heal, and then you also have it here, card number 17. Okay, so yeah, look at this. You're trying to lasso down the blessings here from spirit and look at all the blessings swirling above you. So I definitely feel like, um, yeah, let's, let's get a few more cards out here though and see what, um, what is going on with your current connection. What's going on with your current connection? Page of Wands, Two of Cups, Four of Wands, Seven of Wands, The Magician, and Judgment. Okay. And then we have Temperance on the bottom of the deck. So some of you might be dealing with the Sagittarius as well here. But it doesn't have to be. It could be another fire sign or water sign. Okay, so what's going on with this current connection? Well, I see a lot of times, pile number one, that you get very focused on your work. You get very determined about what it is that you need to get done. And you are not always, um, you know, you turn your back on your person. Sometimes you're not always in the present moment, okay? You are thinking ahead or you're thinking ahead to an imagined future with this person or you're thinking about the past and what didn't come off. And I can see that sometimes you are um, turning your back to this to this person and towards the connection, okay? And um, you're a very bu busy person. You're a very successful person. You uh, try really hard at whatever you do. And because of that, you're very successful, okay? Some of you need to work with your throat chakra is what I'm feeling. Um, and making sure that you get to say what you need to say um, because I'm not seeing any, yeah, I'm not seeing any swords in your guys' reading at all. Um, so some of you just need to work with getting out your feelings and your emotions um, and really being able to upgrade that throat chakra. Taurus rules over the throat chakra. And I'm seeing here that you have this capability to become this very balanced and amazing person. And I think you are looking for a long-term commitment, pile number one. Like, you are looking for that. And I feel like you've been looking for that for some time. And, you know, you've been busy working a lot. Like, it's that vision of the very successful man or woman who puts a lot of effort and energy into their work. Well, they are looking for a long-term commitment, the Hierophant. And they're looking to make it official with the world. But you've just been so consumed in your own process here that it hasn't really happened for you yet. But I think the first door to open here is the page of wands, which is you kind of throwing up, throwing your hands up in the air and saying, fuck it, right? So I can see some of you have been very serious with the eight of pentacles, the Hierophant in the world, even though this Hierophant doesn't look very serious, um, which is the lighter side of the Hierophant where it's like good food, good fun, good company, etc. But I see that you guys are very, very focused on what you want to bring into form in the 3D, okay? Like you are working, you're doing your, you're doing your thing here, pile number one. So um, some of you could, you know, really want, like that would be the icing on your cake, right? You have a great, you're doing great in your work, you're making money, you're, you're supporting yourself, but your true wish is to have partnership, right? And I feel like you, um, there's almost like a wistful look up to the heavens, like when is it going to be me, right? Like maybe you've had friends that have, um, you know, gotten married or have, you know, um, <laughs> you know, have, have moved along in their life and you're kind of looking up, like, when is this going to happen for me? Right. And I do feel like, um, there is a spirit is coming with a message to say, like, you need to release, you need to have fun. You need to let go a bit more and you need to be like lighter in, in spirit. Um, you know, you need to be like lighter with less, less spiritual baggage in a way, pile number one. Like you just need to let go of the outcome and just embrace things for what they are. And some of you guys need to get comfortable with things being on the fly and being more like Gemini-like. And maybe some of you are fixed signs like um, Taurus 
We have Taurus, Scorpio, and Leo and Aquarius, and fixed signs like things to be very, this is what we're doing, this is the plan, right? And maybe some of you guys need to become more Gemini-like. You need to just say, ah, oh, fuck it, or fire sign-like, right? And just throw your hands up and say, whatever will be, will be, and I'm not attaching to any outcome, right? So I'm not getting like a huge message here of, um, you know, actually I am some of, okay, there's two, there's two different kinds of people on this reading, I feel. One has not found that connection yet in their life and is like presently like really, really, really single and, you know, is, doesn't have any prospects on the horizon right now, but you really want that for yourself and you're looking to close a chapter of you know, being very successful, like you still want to be successful, but looking to close a chapter of only focusing on, you know, your family or your success or school or your children, like it's wonderful to focus on those things. They are our responsibilities that we have in life, right? But your true heart, your truest wish is to to find a person that you can have great experience and passion with that you can really let go and let loose with, okay? So I am seeing that for you guys. And um, and some of you wanna have, you know, really interesting, sexy, fun dialogues with people. Like if you things have just been very business, very routine, you wanna have that, okay? And then for others of you, um, that are here. There's the other side of people that are here that are currently with someone, okay? And that's where we saw the twin flame and the runner. And I feel like for you guys, um, you guys have been doing, and that's why you're, you're being awarded with this spirit is saying, okay, you're ready. We're going to, um, you know, you may have regrets about how things turned out in the past and you may still keep a very like, you know, attentive eye on the past and not really being letting it go that much. And spirit is saying you absolutely want to heal and release those chains. Look, he's becoming free of these chains right here because it's going to bring in the love that you seek, right? And we have four, two of cups and four of wands, which hell yeah, that's a twin flame energy, whatever you want to call it, soulmate, twin flame, really amazing relationship beautiful, sexy connection with heart behind it. I mean, that is definitely possible here for you, pile number one with the two of cups and four of wands. I feel like, you know, if you do the work, you make the steps, you put in the effort, you close out the past cycles, you wish upon a star, you open yourself up, boom, there it is, you know, there's your connection, right? And I feel like for some of you, this could happen very quickly. If you put even just a little bit of energy towards, you know, working with um, your crown chakra, working with spirit, um, you know, maybe there's a certain person, this person that could be an engineer or a software person or a technology person, um, or some of them are just very detailed people. There could be a, a future here with a person like that for you. Um, and also just here, you finally figuring out the solution to these runner chaser dynamics if you were feeling that in the past, okay? I see you guys getting very solid with the seven of wands. And look at that solar plexus lit up right there. I see you guys getting very, very stable and solid about what it is that you want and not settling for less. Not now, not ever. I see you guys wanting the full Monty, the big kahuna, you know, the, um, you know, the bounty of your blessings and you not, ex you know, not accepting any less. And some of you have really put in the effort, you know, you've really put in the effort and work to make yourself a well-rounded person. And you've really taken those practical steps to support yourself and heal yourself. And now it's like, you're looking for spirit to kind of give you the miracle you've been waiting for, right? And so I do feel like you guys are at a point now where you're not compromising and you're you're not going to accept anything that's less than your full blitz, okay? And that's totally cool because look at you, the magician over here, just manifesting like a motherfucker over here, just begging spirit with judgment, set me free, take these chains off of my hand, set me free, let me out of this prison, let my heart heal, release me from my suffering, right? And I think you're very content and very focused to do that. I think that you want to see big changes in your life. I think you want to see 
Um, I think you're open and I think the message here is to be open to let spirit tinker with you, pile number one. You need to be tinkered with and adjusted a bit. With the engineer here and everything, every problem has a solution, you need to be tinkered with a bit and I'm seeing like a machine adjusting, I'm seeing like someone you know, working on a car and like, you know, adjusting, I don't know how you do it, but work on it on a car. Like spirit needs to adjust you and you need to be open to that process. And you know, the judgment card is all about liberation and asking to be freed from whatever binds you. And here you're looking to the freedom to create whatever it is that you want. And you're asking for spirit to help you in doing that. Okay. So I see you guys being very sturdy, very solid, and um, very very at peace with what you want and what you need, all right? I don't see you guys wavering. I don't see you guys slowing down and I don't see you guys falling for anything that is less than what is meant for you, okay? So thank you so much, pile number one. And um, in the extended reading, we will get into a message specifically from your person and we will talk about um, what they like and don't like about the connection and their deepest feelings, okay? So thank you so much, pile number one, and I hope you enjoyed your reading, and God bless for those of you <laughs> that will accept my God bless, and for those of you that won't, blessed be, and everything else, okay? So maybe you accept both. I accept both, okay? <laughs> so there's the amethyst you guys picked. And let's go ahead and move on to pile number two. Okay. Pile number two. We have the black obsidian for you, pile number two. And we also have your oracle cards here as well. And our question is, what do you need to know? For first, we're going to ask, what do you need to know regarding your love life in general from spirit? And then we are going to ask what spirit wants to tell you about your current connection. Okay. So let's go ahead first. I just felt like I wanted to look at the bottom of here and oh look, it's the freaking Ten of Cups. All right, so some of you are in love. I'm <laughs> some of you are feeling the love, but let's see here. We have the Black Obsidian. Black Obsidian is very grounding, it's for the root chakra. If you wanna join me on the extended reading, click the link below in the description box. But with that, let's begin. Spirit's general message, so truth. See your light, know your power, have the courage to walk your truth, okay? No limitations. You are a celestial being with unlimited potential. There is much for you to share. Okay, so some of you need to share more and talk more and, um, you know, upgrade people with your wisdom here. It looks like, yeah, you guys got Archangel Michael in your reading, the sword and the rose, clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. Spirit is showing up for you. I just got chills. Spirit is showing up for you guys big time in your reading to tell you they are protecting you. They are guiding you. And Archangel Michael is with you. Okay. And we have kisses. Aw. <laughs> unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, and falling in love, okay? So some of you are getting a lot of clarity about falling in love and what you want to need here, okay? We have the golden mirror, self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. Okay, that's why you guys are being protected by Archangel Michael because Archangel Michael protects all of those who come into the path of narcissists or selfish people or people who um, want to control or demean others, okay? And so that's why I feel like Spirit is giving you guys a kiss and is telling you like they're blowing a kiss in your direction, Archangel Michael is blowing a kiss in your direction and you are protected by Archangel Michael. And if you are involved in a connection that is self-absorbed and one-sided and very narcissistic, Spirit is protecting you from this, okay? So I'm gonna just give a quick PSA about love bombing. For those of you in pile number two, if you just met someone and they seem too good to be true and you're hanging out with them more than maybe once a week, you're spending a lot of time together and you can't believe how they like literally every single thing that you like, watch it with this person, okay? I'm I'm gonna say that right now. I am feel the energy coming through me. Watch it with this person, okay? And um, do not like rush anything about this relationship. Do not move in with this person. 
Um, some of you might have already left this person and so you're just getting a hell of a lot of clarity and truth and you're not gonna have any more limitations on seeing the truth, okay? Um, you're being protected as a celestial being by the angelic realm and by the spiritual realms and the spiritual realms are blowing you a kiss, okay? But for those of you just that just met someone like that, please, um, please consider what I've said here. And I'm not trying to tell, I'm not gonna tell anyone what to do because I don't think that that's what we wanna do with tarot. So you always have to make up your own mind and you always have free will. But I do feel um, like I've just been empowered to say something on that, okay? So let's move on. We have be proud. It's time to celebrate all you've achieved, all that you are and all that you will become. Every once in a while, it's important to stop and acknowledge what you've achieved and to be proud, okay? So yeah, some of you have really progressed and you, some of you have left connections like this and you have a lot to be proud of. Do you know how much it takes to leave a connection like that where you've been love bombed and groomed and pulled into somebody's energy and then you find out, oh, they're a hellacious cheater or um, maybe you had a relationship like that far back in your past and spirit is telling you, you are being protected from this type of energy. Be proud of yourself. You have the spiritual realms on your side and you've always been protected. There are certain lessons that your soul wanted to learn in this lifetime, but you're awake now. You have no limitations. You're awake. You be proud of yourself now, pile number two. We have love. Love is the foundation of your existence and you are just as worthy of receiving as you are of giving and compassion. While love can be a beautiful emotion, it is equally a form of energy that propels you through life, right? So this is all about how love is all around us and it's not just romantic love, all right? It's the sword in the rose, it's Archangel Michael. We have feeling alone, card number five here. So some of you are probably um, have stepped away from you know certain connections or are contemplating doing that and um, can feel very like just alone and left out in the cold is what I'm seeing. And look at the moon in the background being your guide. I was out walking the other night and I saw the moon and I was feeling pretty down too about something and it really comforted me. There's something really um, beautiful about the nighttime, isn't there? Pile number two, you guys chose the black obsidian anyway. So there is something beautiful about the nighttime. But this is, you know, you have this feeling alone card. And so, but look, it came out right underneath kisses. Like spirit is blowing you a kiss from the angelic realm. And they're like, you are not alone. Be proud of where you've come. Be proud that you're still a loving, giving, generous person. Even though you've been through some shit, pile number two, be proud, okay? That's something to be proud of. You didn't go dark, okay? You faced your fears, you didn't go dark. And then we have simply love here. Okay, so this is the six of cups. So there's so much healing that's coming into you after this. And I do feel like you guys have an ancestor in spirit who's with you. It could be a male ancestor, someone on someone that's in your lineage on your mom or your dad's side. Um, but this person is with you and they're a warrior for you in spirit. For some of them, it could be a friend or a brother, but I'm seeing this person is a warrior for you in spirit and their energy is simplistic. They are not like fancy. They're not, you know, trying to put on a show. They are just simply always there for you. Okay. They're just simply there and you have simply love and then you have love, right? So it's, it's really a beautiful message. And then we have here, we have the four. Um, this would be akin to the four of pentacles. And this one says open up. Right, so some of you are going to be opening up yourselves again to new love, and you're going to be, um, you know, you say you're going to be saved. You actually, if if you're still in this golden mirror energy, you're going to be saved from that, and you're going to be proud of yourself, and then you're going to open yourself back up again, and you're going to be like a flower unfolding. Okay, spirit wants you to know that the teacher, Jupiter, okay? To know is to grow, isn't that right? With Archangel Michael, it's all about that blue clarity energy, that sword that pierces through the night, the truth. The one day we wake up and we just know, we just know exactly what needs to be done and where we stand on the issue, right? So yeah, this is the teacher here. To know is to grow, knowledgeable, intelligent, growth-oriented, trustable, trustable, understanding, communicative, compassionate, prosperous, social, inspired, 
self-aware, generous, considerate, and virtuous, okay? So you guys are under the direction of Jupiter right now, and you guys are going through lessons here with the teacher. You guys are learning about love, okay? We're on this planet to learn about love, and you're being taught some of the deepest lessons about love, pile number two, is what I really feel. You guys are taught, you know, you're being shown... <laughs> You're being shown where humans can get, you know, feeling like very separated from their creator and feeling very cut off. And um, when you're around somebody, the golden mirror who's like that, it puts you in a place of feeling very isolated. And then your journey back to spirit where you open up your heart and it's just simply about love, okay? You guys are under the direction of Jupiter, the great guru, the teacher, okay? And then we have masquerade number 15 here, okay? So some of you have been having to pretend to be someone you're not just in order to be with someone or in the past you had to do that. It could have been in your family. It could have been with friendships. It could have just been for most of your life having to pretend to be someone that you're not just to fit into a situation. And I can see that this came at great cost to you. And I think it made you sad at times and it did make you feel alone as well. But that's all ending. There is no more limitations here. And the truth is coming out. So the truth will set you free. Okay, pile number two. Um, you guys are going to transcend this energy. And you're going to show truly who you are. And you're going to be beautiful like the sword and the rose. The sword is fierce and cuts through any murk, any dishonesty, any deception. But the sword also brings freedom and liberation, right? Because it cuts us from the things in our life that no longer serve us. And then the rose is what grows in its place with the heart and allows our heart to expand, okay? And allows us to be taught and to give and to receive. So that's beautiful. That's that's your what you need to know from spirit regarding your love life. And let's go ahead and look at your connection with your person, okay? Pile number two, let's look at the connection with the person that you're asking about. So we have the black obsidian here, and let's find out what spirit is saying about this connection, all right? So what does spirit have to say regarding your current connection with your person for my pile number twos? What does spirit have to say here? Spirit, what say you, right? What say you, Archangel Michael? <laughs> Your wonderful Archangel Michael, what say you? These cards are quite big. <laughs> Can be hard to shuffle with. So let's see here. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, embrace your beautiful, sexy, single, independent self. Um, and don't let anyone come in between you and what you... Uh, what you want to do, okay? Some of you here, if you resonate with um, Lyra, some of you, if you've heard of Lyra before, the star system before, I'm definitely getting that. Um, and it looks like someone's on their knees in front of you, offering you something. I do feel like you're going to get an offer very soon. I do feel like it's going to be a surprise and it's going to be like least expected, like you're not even going to be looking in the direction and you're going to get some kind of an offer. Okay. So some of you are just very, um, you know, sullen beauties in a way. Some of you are like have that Fiona apple kind of energy is what I get, but you guys are holding it down. You're holding it down here is what I see. And, um, you have a youthful spirit, no matter what your age, but your soul can be very wary, okay? Like you might have a youthful face, but your soul can feel wary at times, okay? And then I have the Ace of Swords. Oh, hello, Archangel Michael. <laughs> All over your guys' reading, literally everywhere on your reading. And look at all this power. Look at all this knowledge that you're being infused with. If there was any part of you that felt bored or listless or like you had what you needed, but you just weren't feeling the love, it's going to change real soon. You guys are going to get... Um, you guys are going to get refreshed is what I'm getting. You're going to get revitalized and refreshed. Um, and I see Gemini energy here too, Virgo energy. There could be Pisces, Capricorn, Libras here, okay? 
a Taurus here. I'm a Taurus. I feel like I'm in this reading too. <laughs> I'll be the Taurus that's in the reading. If you are one, you can comment as well. But I definitely think that, you know, you guys are being offered great insight here. And if you were bored and you didn't feel like you were you're productive and you have what you need, but you feel stagnant in any kind of a way, I see you're going to get moved out of that energy really quick and you're going to start getting some deep, um, shocking revelations and insights from Archangel Michael, okay? If, like, if your life gets boring, just ask Archangel Michael to step in and spice it up for you, <laughs> all right? So then we have here, Knight of Wands. Yeah, if your life gets boring, ask Archangel Michael to step it up for you because he's about ready to give you a Knight of Wands. <laughs> Life's about to get real exciting, pile number two. So you guys can meet someone who's very sexy, very cool, very single, um, you know, a man or a woman about town, somebody who looks good, smells good, somebody who's passionate, fiery, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah, like something is going to come in for you guys right quick, real quick here, okay? Um, so Spirit wants you to know that if you've been feeling like at a loss or just, you know, like, yeah, everything's fine, but it's kind of stagnant. Like there is some message and some energy that's coming in fast for you. And it is, you know, it's a very seductive and pleasing energy. Okay. And I don't think I mean that in a bad way, but let's find out what's coming here. Yeah. Two of wands. I feel like, yeah, spirit is telling me it's neutral, right? It's just an opportunity for you. Pile number two. It's not like, you know, you have many paths that you can take. And I, I have a feeling you guys are going to have many options. You guys are the queen of cups. Um, and for those of you that are into witchcraft, Hecate is in your reading as well, too. I feel her here with the Queen of Cups and the Moon energy. So you guys have the Divine Masculine, Archangel Michael, and the Divine Feminine in your reading. I definitely feel like you guys are going to have options. You're going to have a road less traveled, and you're going to have a more, um, you know, road that's more easily traveled, or you've traveled down before, and then a road less traveled. So I do see options and opportunities, and I think there is somebody going to come in very quickly. If you've been sitting on the sideline and you've been waiting for a suitor to approach, I'm here to tell you a suitor approaches and probably in the next five minutes with the Knight of Wands. <laughs> uh, literally, your suitor is upon you. Your suitor is on top of you. <laughs> Okay, um, so, and I think Spirit is saying have fun with this, you know, like, I'm not seeing anything here where Spirit's like, dear God, stop immediately, like, with this connection. There's, if it's a newer, fresher connection, Spirit's like, yeah, like, okay, it's, as long as you're having fun and enjoying yourself and you're not bored, go for it, pile number two. Okay, so let's see what else you got. Judgment. Yeah, some of you just want to be, you know, there's a song by Tori Amos called, um, brother, my brother, Bougainvillea, my vine twist, twists around your need and you shock, shock, shock me sane. There's just a lyric from that song. Like, you know, the judgment card for me is always like that. It's like you shock, shock me. You wake me up. Um, I'm also getting wake me up before you go, go. Isn't that like a George Michael song? Yeah. Wake me up before you go, go. So yeah, I think this person in your life is meant to wake you up and wait, meant to bring you new information and new knowledge. And this person is sent by Archangel Michael to wake you up and bring you new knowledge. So there is something coming in for you here that is going to, um, you know, shake the cobwebs off that, you know what? <laughs> Um, you know, I normally would say the word, but I didn't put 18 plus on here. So I'm trying to be a little bit better about that, but shake the cobwebs off the, you know, what's pile number two. I definitely feel like there is somebody new, somebody exciting coming in for you. Okay. And then we have the seven of wands that just fell out. And I think, you know, you might be like, okay, who are you? What do you want? Like you might be looking at this person, like, really, is this who, is this who you sent? angelic realm right like you might be kind of like okay whatever when you first <laughs> when you first see or hear of this person um but there is wisdom you have the owl here in the background so you've become very discerning pile number two and you don't just you really look at things before you dive into them and you have the owl in the background so you are learning and you are growing and you know you are becoming a very strong force to be reckoned with where people can't really get any bullshit past you thank you archangel michael right 
but there is a connection coming that's gonna challenge you, okay? And I mean that in a good way. It's good to be challenged sometimes, okay? Pile number two, to have your notions about life challenged, to break you out of any stagnation that you've got into, um, to come rescue, um, you know, Rapunzel from the tower. She's just bored and hanging out in the tower, right? There is something coming for you that's gonna wake you up here. Yeah, the Wheel of Destiny is at work here. The Spirit is bringing you this Knight of Wands to basically, you know, wake you up. And this person might have kind of a gypsy soul is what I'm seeing. They could be a Sagittarius too. Um, but this person is coming to wake you up from any stagnation and any boredom you've been having in your life. And boy, oh boy, are they ever going to wake you up. Um, you know, I definitely see this person is coming in to... Um, you know, to shake things, shake, rattle, and roll, baby. That's what's going on, okay? So if you if you have someone like this in your life and this isn't an ex that we were talking about earlier, go for it. If this is the ex, I would, okay, I'm gonna stop there because I promised you guys I wasn't gonna tell you what to do. And honestly, with the Wheel of Destiny here, no one can tell you what to do, pile number two. You guys are gonna do what you're gonna do. And if you feel like really sexually turned on by this person, you will go for it. Even if it is the path less traveled is what I feel here, okay? But you're not gonna lose your wits about you because I see you standing strong with the Seven of Wands here. I see you really examining things and looking at the situation, okay? So let's get one more card here for my pile number twos regarding this. The Eight of Cups, okay? So some of you are going to, um, some of you are, this might not be a connection that stays forever. This might be a connection that just opens you up and turns you on to new information and just breaks you out of a rut. Maybe some of you have been in a rut sexually and you haven't felt very satisfied sexually. Nine of Pentacles is the energy of Venus and Virgo. So some of you might've been, you know, I mean, we are in a freaking global pandemic and a quarantine. Like maybe some of you just haven't been getting served. Do you know what I mean? And you're about to meet someone who's gonna serve you up and is gonna wake you up. And um, you're gonna be like, what the hell is this? I feel like a little bit with the Seven of Wands, but I feel like you will, you will let this person pass and you know, pass go and collect 200. And you know, you'll take a chance, you know? There's that Abba song, take a chance on me. Well, I can't think of the lyrics now, but it's just came to me, take a chance on me. So I think you will take a chance on this person. But you might not ultimately stay with this person with the Eight of Cups here. You might ultimately move on. Um, even though there's good things about the connection, you might ultimately decide, eh, you know, that was fun while it lasted. And it really, I did learn a lot, but I'm going to move on to something else. So some of you will be moving on from the connection. Um, yeah, that's what I see. Just some of you will be moving on or maybe you'll be moving just in general away. Um, yeah, and I think some of you could, eventually your attention could be drawn away by something else, some other priority in your life as well. Um, so, but I see it's all destiny at the end of the day for you and that your path is lit up with rainbow energy, okay? Your path is lit with rainbow energy. There's really no wrong choice that you can make as long as you are having fun and you're with someone that respects you and cares for you, okay? So there's spirits like there's not really a wrong choice here you just um you know of course you want to stay away from abusive people etc and move on from those situations but when you're having fun and enjoying yourself that's cool and um if any of you felt guilty about that please let that go and um, move on from any guilt if some of you have held on to guilt or um, you know, feelings that you were gonna be judged or other people were watching you, please let that go. And Spirit is telling you to let that go and just embrace the moment with your present moment with this person, okay? So thank you so much, pile number two. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Uh, we will go to the extended reading where we'll get a message from your person, what they do and don't like about the connection and their feelings, okay? So hope you guys enjoyed. I enjoyed reading for you, that's for sure. You guys are interesting pile. All right. Now let's move on to pile number three, okay? So for pile number three, we are asking the question, what do you need to know right now? What does spirit need to tell you about your love life in general right now? And also regarding your current connection, what would spirit like to tell you, all right? So 
We have the fairy stone here. If you chose the fairy stone, you guys chose pile number three. And if you're interested in the extended reading, you can click the link below and go to Vimeo to purchase the extended reading where we will ask what is a message from your person, what they like and don't like about the connection, and their feelings, their deepest feelings, okay? But first of all, let's get a message from Spirit. What message does Spirit have for you regarding your love life right now? Okay, we have the blue flame. Connect to the blue flame, which is the light of pure love within you. Okay, pile number one, or I just called you guys pile number one. Maybe you need to watch pile number one. Um, but the blue flame, okay. Dreams, the universe speaks to you through dreams. Okay, so some of you are connecting to the blue flame through your dreams. Seduction, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference, okay. The butterfly, relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child, and growth. The chaser, chaser in a codependent relationship, free of abandonment issue, okay? So yeah, some of you need to watch pile number one because we had a runner in pile number one. Uh, you guys have a chaser, all right? So chasing after butterflies is beautiful. Chasing after a person with you know no hope is not great, right? That's where we can get, dreams can be very seductive, right? Okay, but let's go and see what else Spirit is saying here. Hope. Your loved ones in the spirit world know when you reach out to see if you're, know when to reach out if they see you're at a low point. Whether you're caught up in a difficult situation or struggling with someone specific in your life, there is always hope. Okay, so there, your loved ones are coming to you in your dreams. They're there with you. And if you see a butterfly when you're out walking around, know that spirit is with you. Whenever I see a butterfly, I always smile. I get a huge smile on my face. I actually talk to the butterflies sometimes. It truly is a sign from the divine and that spirit is with us, okay? New beginnings. Everything in life is constantly vibrating and moving and therefore continuously changing and evolving. Have courage and faith because right now life is trying to nudge you forward and move you in a new direction okay so there's a new beginning an exciting new beginning that is coming for you pile number three and the blue flame and the pure love within you and your dream time are key and crucial to connecting to you with the energy of this new beginning and um, if you guys have been sucked into a whole seduction and you've been chasing someone around you know like how you see a butterfly and your eyes chase it and chase it and chase it <laughs> Um, it's cute when it's a butterfly. Like I said, it's not cute when it's a human being. So you guys are letting go. And I feel like, you know, this fear of abandonment issue can be very challenging in people. There's to make you feel better, pal number three, not just to make you feel better, but to let you know, so many people have a fear of abandonment. So many people have this issue and they just hide it right? They hide it. They make it seem like they don't care, like they're cool. So if you're dealing with someone that's really seductive and acting like they don't care and it's putting you feeling like put, it's putting you on notice, um, know that this person is, you know, not as cool as they seem. That's what I'm getting intuitively. Um, and they may not have as much, much to offer you really. I mean, they could be really good at seduction, but they might not be, um, you know, very spiritual, very hopeful. They might, not even you know understand what it is to have a new beginning really they might just you know <laughs> they might just basically take whatever they can get okay um so there's an energy here of needing to be cleansed i feel like with the the cleansing fire with the candle here there's like a cleansing fire going on we have new vitality oh hell yeah right we have the ace of wands new vitality with the new beginning that is really special i do feel like you guys are moving out of old energy and transforming it here there's something that's evolving for some of you a relationship that's been hard and awful is going to evolve and have a new beginning for some of you you're going to drop it entirely and find something new with someone else here we have number three, we have the three of wands, take the lead. So there's a lot of fire showing up in your guys' reading. Um, there's a fire of transformation and you're being asked to take the lead in this situation. You're the one that will create the new beginning. You're the one that's gonna spark the fire and the flame and you're the one that's gonna evolve this to the next phase. Um, I don't feel like this other person that you're dealing with necessarily has the wherewithal or power to evolve this to the next phase, okay? And I think that's important for you to know, not to say that they're not a good person. I just don't think they have as much, um, you know, they might not be as ballsy as you, pile number three. They might not be able to 
um, you know, move out of old energy, right? And so you have to be the one to do that. You have to be the one to move on and embrace the blue flame, right? The flame is here for you guys. Clarity of belief. You guys have the Ace of Swords. So Archangel Michael is showing up in your guys' reading too. Archangel Michael showed up in reading number two as well. Um, so you have three freaking aces in your reading, all right? So you guys are at a whole new beginning and spirit is wanting you guys to have hope for the new beginning all right to let go of any devil energy any energy of the past any seduction energy any energy where you felt like someone got one over on you that person isn't for you if you have someone in your life where you feel like they sneakily got one over on you no that's not your person okay i feel like spirit is calling that out right now and is saying no to that for some of you that are here celebrity the sun okay so some of you are meant to shine and you're meant to be fire like aries leo sagittarius if you're not that sign you're meant to stand and you're meant to be a celebrity you're meant to shine it says here i lead with my light okay so take the lead and i lead with my light so some of you really need to um you know not chase anyone else but instead chase your highest vision for your life chase your greatest desires chase your evolution and you know your your transformation from a caterpillar into a butterfly okay that's really what you need to be chasing it says here charismatic imaginative luminous confident authentic inspiring passionate magnetic impactful public fashionable, independent, noble, generous, and unique, okay? So some of you are really gonna be getting into this new beginning, and I think you're gonna feel better than ever. If there is something that you've been chasing and not wanting to let go of, that's been very seductive to you, letting go of this for you is gonna feel like you're on a fucking 10-star vacation. I'm not even kidding. It's going to feel amazing. Do you know how amazing it feels to have a brand new beginning and all this hope and all of these, you know, organization, you have all of these aces behind you. So you have so many offers from spirit right now. You have so much support from the spirit realm. It feels so good to like spread your wings and leave, leave something behind, right? With the butterfly here. And then we have anger and chains card number 29 here. Yeah. So your guides are telling you, um, do not get the chains that bind us with this seduction and chaser. Um, and the butterfly is not chained by anything, right? The butterfly is not angry either. The butterfly is very sweet and just kind of, you know, moves around like that. And then, you know, you're, I don't think I've ever seen an angry butterfly in my life. It just doesn't happen. Um, but, you know, this kind of, and I'm not saying anger is a bad thing, guys, because we need anger to move us out of situations and get us going on our path. But the chains are a problem, okay? Anger and chains is a problem. So um, this person that you were with could have been keeping you chained to a situation, keeping you from a new beginning, keeping you from realizing your dreams and connecting to the blue flame, okay? So no one can ultimately keep you from what you're destined to do and where you're supposed to go in life. We all know that, but they can slow us down with their antics. That is very possible, okay? And so Archangel Michael is coming in here to say, recognize when you see that happening, clarity of belief. Recognize when you see someone slowing you down with their antics and just fly away from that situation like a butterfly and let it evolve. Heal, heal your inner child and grow, okay? Pile number three. So do not let you know resentment or anger keep you in chains and keep you bound to someone, all right? Um, your guides and spirit is wanting you to have a lot of hope for the future, for a new beginning, okay, guys? So that is what your angels and guides have to say about your love life. Let's get into your what your current person, what do the angels and guides have to say about your current situation with your person? Okay, so what do your angels and guides have to say about your current situation with your person here for my pile number three? Pile number three, angels and guides, what do you, what say you? What say you, angels and guides, for my pile number threes? These are another set of big cards that are a little harder to shuffle with. Oh, all right, these two seem to... All right, so we have three of wands, which we saw earlier. You guys had three of wands earlier with take the lead. So again, spirit is coming through and saying, um, you know, their current message about your situation is that 
um, anything that holds you back and makes you wait and remains unbalanced is not for you, okay? And I feel like that's fair, fairly obvious. Uh, this, your person might have made you wait a lot for them. And um, yeah, I see they made you like basically hold the responsibility for the relationship while they acted very childish and went off and did whatever they want. While you were the one that had to show the strength. I see the tiger head holding up the two pentacles. So with the feet that represent two stumps of a tree here. So I feel like they had you waiting and I felt like, you know, there were so many options and so many things that you could do with the three of wands, but they kind of had you waiting there. Everything was around you, but you were waiting on them and they were kind of having you hold the balance of the relationship while they just, you know, acted like they were holding balance, but were acting like a little child. You can see the child there holding things up, right? So, and then the man who's upside down. So this person had a shadow side as well that, um, you know, they tried to hide from you. And I feel like, you know, they need some inner child healing. We talked about that butterfly and needing to evolve. So I do think there's some things in your guys' dynamics that need to evolve here, okay? And then I have the king of wands. So this person could have been um, very into themselves. You know, I just heard that saying, behind every man is a great woman, which is a very sexist statement, right? Like that's not a cool statement. Um, you could have been holding the fort down for this person while they went out and did different things. But I can see this person was like very focused. I feel like you were giving them the power to do what they did, honestly. I feel like this person is channeling the divine feminine. It doesn't matter genders here. Um, whoever holds the feminine energy in the connection, this person was channeling the divine feminine to create something that, um, you know, that they could actually be proud of, even though they're like a child in many ways, and they just wait for their, they just sit around and wait for their ships to come in, even though there's opportunities all around them. I feel like this person needs the divine feminine in order to create and become a man or a woman of their own, all right? So it's kind of pathetic is what Spirit's telling me. Like that's what, it, it's pathetic sometimes the way that they do that, okay? So mm, yeah, but let's see what else Spirit has to say about this connection. Death, yeah, Spirit's like, bye. <laughs> so um, yeah, <laughs> they're, they have the key circled in the middle here. So they're like, you know, there is a key. I think the first key for you, pile number, can I call you pile number one again? Pile number three is to stop the sexual interaction with this person. I definitely see this as like, you know, womb energy. This person is like knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door, if you know what I mean. Like they're trying to get in. Um, but they're, you guys are becoming more, um, you know, just more vicious or not even vicious just more selective and choosy over your sexual energy and who you decide to share that with and you're just not letting anyone anymore these days and i can see that this person is like a baby about sexual energy they're like why can't i have it you know and you're just like because i fucking said so right like <laughs> with the death card here but i definitely feel like you're putting an end to this to the sexual energy in this connection with death and the king of wands it's like no more yeah bye no more um they are like you know the feminine can taketh and giveth away right like the feminine is all is nurturing and loving but the feminine can also destroy things if they don't want them anymore so i feel like for some of you you know and i think your person is very afraid of that destructive feminine energy. I think that they just want to harness it, harness it, harness it for their own purposes. They don't really want to be, um, you know, they just want to take it for what it's worth. They don't want to be denied from it at all. Okay. They don't even have their own source of power is what I'm seeing here. Okay. You could be dealing with some air sign or some, I said air, so maybe some air signs, but also, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Scorpio here. All right. And if you are dealing with those, that person is not seeming the most healthy here. Prince of Swords, yeah, I think this person puts on a show and acts like they know what they're doing and what they're saying, but they don't really know. They have a stick of dynamite at their feet. They fuck things up a little bit too much, pile number three. They really do. Um, and they don't really inspire confidence in others. They think that they do, 
but behind the scenes, like they are actually, this person is actually not getting any information from the, themselves. They, they have a little bit of hollowness inside and they're not actually getting information from themselves. They get information from the outside and then decide how they're going to act, okay? So there is, um, you know, and because of that, they're very reactionary and they can blow things up easily by the things that they say is what I'm getting here, okay? So let's see what else Spirit has to say about this connection. What does Spirit have to say about this connection? Ten of Wands, yeah, it's gotten real fucking tired. Um, you know, I feel like this is me just roasting your person. I feel like there is a Scorpio after you. For some of you, there is a Scorpio that's trailing after you. And, um, you know, there is some poison in this situation. There is some danger in this situation. I also feel pile number three, like this isn't all rainbows, puppies, and sunshine. Um, if you walked it, it's like the movie, it's like that show Dexter, where you would, Dexter was that normal guy who worked for the Miami a criminal division or whatever. He was a blood spatter guy. But when you walked into his kill scene, you would see like things hanging from the wall. I'm, yeah, I might be being a bit dramatic here, pile number three, but you know, I, with the 10 of wands, it's could, it feels dramatic to me though. I, I feel like, I feel like, you know, spirits like don't, you know, <sighs> Don't, this is a town that's been burned to the ground. Don't keep trying to plant flowers in a town that has been burned to the ground is what I'm getting, all right? That's the message. We have the star. Yeah, so you guys are going to prevail over this situation. Look at you guys. Um, I definitely feel that you guys have like divine feminine energy possibly a maternal ancestor on your maternal side, a feminine ancestor who's stepping in here to um, change the outcome and to bring you healing. I do see you guys uh, being very sexy in the future, but I see you being very self-contained and healing yourself first before you let anybody else around you. You guys are very sexy people, pile number three. I just want to tell you that. I can see that about you. Um, but you have to be careful with the healing energy that you give others because not everybody is not everybody is going to benefit from your healing and taking on other people's energy and other people's immaturity is going to hurt is it's not going to hurt you. No one can really hurt you. You have protection with the star card, but it's going to be very unpleasant and uncomfortable. Okay. So it's not even for you to carry. It's not for you to carry at all. You just worry about yourself. Okay. Pile number three is what I'm getting here. And then the queen of swords. Look at this bitch. Okay. I love it. Some of you spirit is like, be a bitch. All right. <laughs> be a bastard. Be a bitch. Um, five of swords is on the bottom of the deck. Some of you are really going to mortal combat, mortal combat, put an end to this, right? There's that saying in the end of mortal combat, finish him, right? I think some of you are going to finish this situation. Um, you're being protected right now by some very fierce and warrior like ancestors that are like, do not fuck with my person, meaning you do not fuck with pile number three. We will hunt your ass down. Like you guys have some very fierce ancestors in the astral plane. They're not messing around and you know, they're ready to drop someone into an open grave if they fuck with you. Okay. I'm not saying that because, and I didn't get this in any of my other piles, pile number three, but I'm feeling like, I'm feeling like this pile is, um, you know, it's serious in that way. So, <laughs> uh, I was looking for the lighthearted message here, but I think the lighthearted piece of it is the star card where you heal and, um, you know, but when you heal, you're also going to, you know, punch a lot of suckers in the gut too with the queen of swords. You guys are just going to hold your boundaries. You're not going to let anybody infiltrate your energy. You're going to protect yourself. Your own self is going to be your greatest protector along with your ancestors. You're not going to deal with it anymore. You're going to say goodbye to fuckery. Okay, pile number three. So with that being said, we will take it to the extended reading next where we will get a message from your person um, what they like and don't like about the connection and their deepest feelings. All right. Okay. So thank you so much, pile number three, and I hope everybody enjoys their day. Blessed be.